Hey guys, it's iDavis from the Czech community and in this video I'm going to take you through my most favorite pets in my city. But before we inspect what creatures all the animal footprints in my city belong to, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to never miss any news from the world of Elvenar. As with the current take on my city, you can see my full animal habitat of pets which I consider to be the best suited to my game style. All of them were available to obtain in some of the previous events, but if you are missing some of these pieces, they might still appear in several occasions in the game. Their first stage version might appear in crafting, and the Spire of Eternity might offer the artifacts to evolve them further as well, at some point in the future. So keep your eyes open to never miss such an opportunity. The first one, the Polar Bear, I find to be an excellent support in tournaments. Its feeding effect is shortening the delay between the tournament rounds, by 20% at stage number 10. I am using the Polar Bear in combination with the Time Warp Wonder, which can be unlocked in the Constructs chapter, and this Wonder has a very similar effect. It shortens the tournament delay and can be pulled to 80% at the highest level. The result of the combination of Polar Bear and Time Warp Wonder is the sum of these numbers. So I am having 100% cooldown reduction in tournaments, which allows me to play the whole tournament in one session. To make the pet food on this building even more efficient, its duration lasts 5 days, which is not only enough to cover one whole tournament, but also the time between the two different tournament weeks. What I usually do is that I feed the polar bear at the end of one tournament, play all the rounds during the day, it's usually Friday or Saturday, and the polar bear's effect keeps lasting even until the beginning of the next tournament, which I play during Tuesday or Wednesday. Thanks to this strategy, I not only use one pet food for both tournaments, but also any potential expiring unit boosting buildings, since these are available for the same period of time. Fire Phoenix has one of the best effects for any kind of fighting. The effect of this pet is increasing the damage of all your units by up to 50% at stage number 10. Feeding this pet makes it much easier to fight in both tournaments and spire with a duration of 24 hours. And to make it even better, in combination with Polar Bear, I don't need to spend more than one pet food on Fire Phoenix, as being able to play the whole tournament during one day makes one pet food to be more than sufficient. Next, I have a collection of brown bears, which I gained during the Autumn Zodiac 2019 and its endless questline. Now, even without considering the amount of brown bears, this pet is highly beneficial for any battling feature, as it increases the output of all your military buildings. The effect lasts 12 hours. No matter how many brown bears you have, it's good to think about how you can maximize the output of units for the least possible amount of pet food spent. The one possibility, obviously, is to feed them every day and collect your troops as usual, but that way I would very quickly run out of all the pet food I have. The actual way I am doing this is that I only feed my brown bears around one time per one or two weeks and then I cycle the unit production several times using time boosters. The question is about which resource is easier to get. Is it pet food or is it time boosters? With an active participation in Spire and Crafting, you get a bunch of time boosters every week, while the range of possibilities for earning pet food is much more limited, so such a pet food friendly approach will allow you to get many more units after all. These are the must have pets in my city. With the recent introduction of an ability to store the evolving buildings, I, of course, might consider taking some other pets out of my inventory from time to time, but these are the only buildings that are to be found lying in my city all the time. If you are asking why do I not have any goods providing pets in my city, there are some pets that provide goods, for example for opening chests received from neighborly help, such as the watchful winter owl, but this simply comes from how I designed my city. I am a big fan of ranking points, so all my production of goods is focused on manufactories, which consume a lot of culture and population and provide me with a bunch of goods in return. With all these manufactories in my city, I have a huge reserves for anything I need, and therefore I can spend my free space in the city to fulfill other kinds of needs, such as producing or boosting my units for tournaments. And with that being said, that's what I have prepared for this video. If there is any other pet in your city that you find useful feeding regularly, Share it with the other players in the comment section below and thank you for watching and see you next time.